we were just taking a little break from bear hunting here in Montana in the afternoon here. Thought I'd give you a little tour of our trailer we camp in. Uh, just started out as a plain 7x16 cargo trailer you can buy from pretty much anywhere. And no options or nothing. We added everything ourselves here. We'll just give you a little tour on the outside here quick first. Uh, we added just a little 12 volt standard outdoor uh, kind of yard light that you see on most RVs. Move over to the door here. I added the nice window, folds up with a screen. It's a standard RV window, we installed that. RV latch, we'll show you more of that here when we come back. Move around to the front. Added a place for our, found out a milk crate, works pretty perfect for a 20 pound propane bottle. So we bolted that on. You can strap your propane tank in there pretty easily. We re relocated our spare tire up underneath the trailer, so we house our, mount our generator right here and we travel, bolts on nice. Then we've got, of course, got our battery box. Move around this way. It's got our outlet for our generator that plugs in here, powers everything inside, charges the battery and everything. We can show you the box inside here. Up top, just got your AM FM antenna and our cell phone booster antenna. Come around to the back here. In the back really all we added was the stabilizing jacks. Just welded on your standard jack that you'd see on the front of a trailer. Put two, one on each side to stabilize it. Works pretty good in the wind storms and everything. Also put a, another receiver hitch on the back for our game hauler. We'll go move inside here. Like our door came with your standard latch. That works good for traveling, but it doesn't open on the inside, so we ended our, added our RV style latch. Inside here, it's pretty nice. Got our window again, screen, open, close, spot to mount your broom. You zoom in here. So our switches here, our first one's for our interior lights, second one's for the exterior lights, third one is for our roof mounted fan. We'll show you a little more of the inside here. Uh, we built this cabinet here, it was just nothing here when we had it. Uh, made some nice cabinets under here to store all your camping essentials. Get quite a bit of storage under there. Helps out a lot. Got speakers for our radio. Added a AM FM radio CD player. And we got a little fancier with the, take the XM radio out of the pickup can mount in here. Really jam some tunes. We mostly use this uh, countertop for our electronics, computers and what, cameras and whatnot. Cause we got the 12 volt outlets and some other outlets for charging everything. Uh, got our nice little wall up here. We just put keep track of all our pictures, kind of a bragging board, I guess you'd say. Got more lights under here, paper towel holder, some hooks up here to hang, whatever gets stuff organized. Move over this way. It's kind of our cooking center here. We just got a nice fold up poly table so it's easy to clean up. Got our cooking stove, all your cooking stuff, keeping a nice tote that we can store under here so it's organized. We just added some shelves up here, not real fancy. They just come off when we're in transit. We just put them up when we park and organize all our food. Well, here we got our cradle for our cell phone booster. You've seen the antenna outside. Uh, we got the main house of it under here. All electronics are kind of in this corner here to keep it organized. Got our converter box here with all our fuses and master switches. Uh, works good if you plug in your 110 outlet, it, it'll charge the battery and run all our 110 outlets. So it works pretty good. When it gets cold out, we use a Mr. Heater Buddy. We got the big cable. You've seen the propane tank out front. We were just running the cable up underneath through the trailer there. Works pretty good. Well, mostly up in the corners area, just ran 12 volt uh, RV style lights. You got the switches here, or else the master switch over there will run them all. And we ran our 110 outlets up here, like I said, it has to be plugged into the generator or whatever to run those, obviously. And just got hooks around pretty much all around the outside. Can't have too many hooks in here. Now I'll show you the back of the trailer here. Here's the vent I was talking about. We added this in too, just standard RV style vent with a fan in it, showing you the switch up there. We went with bunk beds just to save some space. They're pretty heavy duty though actually and quite comfortable. Nice space saver, and store stuff underneath yet. Then we built the, we use it sometimes as a third bunk if we got enough people in the air or else. Just for storage, just nice little rack up here to keep everything up. And we still got storage room underneath. Uh, just got our chairs, just use some camping chairs in here. Put up a lot more hooks, which is in my opinion is a good idea. You can't have too many hooks. We hang all our clothes up here for they need to dry out or whatever, just spot to hang whatever. And then all these walls are insulated with just one inch styrofoam insulation. We had when we first got the trailer, we ripped out all the boards that were in here, replaced them, 
put insulation in, did all the trim work ourselves, just to make it look a little nicer. And before we leave, we'll show you how we tear it down and pack it up. We're just getting finished packing up here. Uh, as you can see, we kind of mostly stack all of our totes and stuff up in front of in the front of the trailer, and then we park the Ranger behind it, kind of centered over the wheel wells. We'll show you to you once we get more done, but we just got to fold up the beds, roll up the carpet, and we're pretty much ready to roll. Just in order to save space, we uh, put a couple of hooks on the wall, and that's where we hang our beds, so it just keeps them up tight against the walls. There's room to still drive the Ranger in. And then our third bunk, we just lay on the floor. It'll go on it with the Ranger's got enough clearance to go over top of it and then we just strap it down once we get the ranger loaded up so we'll get after that now all packed up and ready to hit the road again if you got any more specific questions just let us know and thanks for watching thanks for watching this episode of 71 outdoors for updates check out 71 outdoors.com or like us on facebook and a big thanks to our sponsors the world hunting club kirsch's outdoor products angle coolers and the racket later the outside first here uh it just came plain black let me start over. How'd you like it so far? No, 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 no. I don't know what I'm doing. Open it up. <laughs> Alright, just start right there. <laughs> he said shut the door.